Hello and welcome to this workshop which will explore the importance of reading and explicit vocabulary instructions. To begin, at George Salter we share a vision for reading. That vision is, we believe that it is our moral obligation to ensure that every student is a competent reader so that they can realise their personal goals and achieve outstanding outcomes to fulfil their potential. George Salter champions reading. Engagement with and pleasure of texts is embedded across the curriculum. Reading is understood by all staff and students to be of vital importance. The Matthew effect clearly illustrates the importance of our vision. Students who are readers achieve better outcomes and we want all students at GSA to excel. Indeed, you might think that a lack of vocabulary knowledge would affect students primarily in English. However, a lack of ability and confidence in reading comprehension has negative effects on a student's progress in every subject. The average reading age of the GCSE paper is 15 years and seven months. A reading age lower than this leaves students unable to access their examinations for every subject, not just English. A recent study found that a quarter of students at 15 still have a reading age of 12 or below. Significantly, boys are more likely than girls to have a reading age below that of which is required to be successful at GCSE. Students who don't read regularly are more likely to struggle with both their reading and their writing. So with regards to writing, some of the common difficulties are spelling, particularly spellings of homophones, punctuation, paragraphing, tense agreement and sentence structure. Students who don't read regularly are also more likely to find the following types of questions more challenging. For example, Many cities around the world are located near large rivers and lakes or near an ocean. Why do you think this is so? Provide three or more important advantages that waterways offer cities and explain why each is important. Give examples. The key words in this question have been underlined and are known as command words. Students have to respond to these words to answer the question. If students don't have a secure understanding of the command words in the question, they are less likely to meet the requirements of the question. Words in bold also, if not understood, would jeopardise candidates' ability to attempt to answer the question. So now that we understand that not reading regularly poses a significant barrier to achievement, I want to explore what we are doing at GSA to ensure that all students are readers. First and foremost, we want to encourage students to read for pleasure. So this year, Daily opportunities during form time have been created for students to read a book that they have selected. All students should have that book with them in their bag. Students are invited to visit the library to select a book that is appropriate according to their reading age and that interests them or they are allowed to bring in a suitable book from home. Once a student has completed their 
book that they have selected to read for pleasure, they will complete a book review. The review will be handed to their form tutor who will rag rate it green, amber or red and that will contribute to completion of their Salter Scholar Enrichment Programme. During form time, we also have Read Aloud Wednesdays. Each year group has a set text that they read together with their form tutor. Form tutors, in the first instance, read aloud to model fluency and to support with vocabulary acquisition. Reading ambassadors, or our best readers, are also invited to read aloud to the group to further role model what good reading sounds like. Providing opportunities to promote and offer support with reading is also embedded in all curriculum areas so that each subject has subject specific reading lists that you can access via our website. Also subjects have reading homeworks to encourage students to develop their wider reading skills and to explore subject specific vocabulary at home. Also, there are never heard the word lists with tier two and tier three words in exercise books, along with knowledge organisers that contain some of the key ideas for each unit. Students are required to know a wide range of subject specific vocabulary. To support students with their acquisition of this vocabulary, staff will follow the say it, spell it, know it approach. So students are encouraged to say the word aloud. They're encouraged to break the word into morphemes so that they are able to spell it and remember it the next time and so that they know it, understand it and can use it in context, we support them with thinking of synonyms, words that have a similar meaning to the new word. And this is an approach that can absolutely be used at home. Um, if you are speaking to your son or daughter, um, perhaps they ask you what a word means, um, following the say it, spell it, know it approach will really help them um, with storing that new word in their long term memory. So to conclude, other ways that you can support at home are to encourage reading for pleasure. So whilst we provide daily opportunities for students to read during form time, it is really, really important that they are also reading at home. As stated, they should have their reading book with them at all times so they can continue to read the book that they are reading daily at school at home. Please take the time to take an interest in the book, talk about what it's about. Having conversations about reading is also a really, really powerful tool in promoting reading for pleasure. Also, ask your child where their never heard the word grids are for their subjects. Can you support them using the say it, spell it, know it approach with the subject specific vocabulary that they are required to know? Also, ask your child whether or not they've got their exercise book. This is something that if they don't have it with them, they can ask their teacher for. Go through the exercise book um, with them, having a look at their writing, um, spelling, punctuation and grammar. All of these things will support with the promotion of reading and vocabulary acquisition, which as we've explored is vital to um, achieving good outcomes um, at the end of their school.
career.